Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elric. Now, many of you people out there always tell me that you're looking for a gaming card that'll play games but won't break the bank. And I also hear a lot from people is that you'd like to see a video card that didn't take up two slots or you'd like one that would be in your server for low profile. Well, with that said, we're gonna take a look at a brand new card from the people over at Sapphire that I have over to my right. This is their new low profile HD 7750 card. It's very low priced, has a minimalistic amount of total features on it, but it's very low profile, low priced, and as you asked, will play games. So for now, let's take an unboxing and first look from this card from the people over at Sapphire. <laughs> All right, everybody, like every good unboxing, we're gonna first show you the box. This one's kind of interesting anyways, check it out. We've got the Sapphire logo, and then we've got the nomenclature, and then we've got this girl all decked out in gear, and you can see, man, she's got some tattoos on her tatas. They're actually getting pretty good at, at you know drawing these tatas. They look you know, like realistic tatas there, and there's tattoos on them. So she's one tough, tattooed, tatad temptress. There you go. But that's the front of the box. You guys can see general stuff down here. Now, one thing that's really different about this thing is that we said earlier it fits in many ITX cases, low profile. You usually don't see that very much. And then also they have really weird connections here. They have a micro connection, something we haven't actually seen yet on a video card. So we'll get into that in a second. Let's flip it around to show the back of the box. You see all the awards and everything. Now, this thing's a really low end card. It's introductory level, but it will play games. It's only got an 800 megahertz core clock. I'll try to just pull this off here. 512 stream processors. Now this card has one gigabyte of GDR5 memory, 128 bit memory interface, and the memory's running at 4,500 megahertz. Not all that fast, but still a pretty decent card. Go ahead and pop the cap here. Now Sapphire's known to give a lot of stuff in their packaging. This one looks like there's almost nothing in here, which is kind of funny, but it does have a lot of stuff. Here we have our VGA to DVI connector, adapter, our high profile. So if you want to put this in a normal system, you'll be able to take the card out and put it in here and make it back to normal profile because it is a low profile card out of the box. Here we have the main display port to display port. And then lastly, we have the micro HDMI to standard HDMI. This is the new one. I'll go ahead and just pull this out of the bag real quick so you guys can see this particular one. Get it up to the camera. It's much smaller than the standard connection. But, I mean, really, the main focus of this card, like I said before, though, is the low profile. Lots of people want to put these things in small systems and still be able to game. And this little bad boy is small. Now, look at this. The card will fit in my hand. Absolutely, totally zero power requirements other than the PCI. So the card's being powered by 75 watts via the PCI. You've got a single active fan. I mean, this card is actually so small. It's like almost like, you know, joke material because it's so small. Hardly ever see that. You guys know if you have one of those little mini ITX cases or something, they won't fit a lot of cards. This card will fit in there. Now, as we take a look at the rear I.O., we can see that it's a single dual link DVI. Mini display port, micro HDMI. So just three connections on the back, your micro, your mini, your standard. That's about that. I mean, the card's very, very thin. Inside, you get the driver CD and those little parts, and that's really about it, man. This is a very low budget card. Not to me to say that it's not a good card, but it's just a very, very budget card. So this was the unboxing and first look. If you guys would like to see a real in-depth picture gallery, jump on over to motherboards.org and check out the link in the description below and check out a fully high-res gallery of this new card.